Hey guys, I'm Steph and welcome back to my beauty stash. Today I'm going to be creating four looks using the brand new ColourPop It's a Mood 30 Pan Eyeshadow Palette. This palette retails for $34 on the ColourPop website and look at this gorgeous color story just in time for fall. I love all these shades. I think this is a really pretty palette, although I do feel a few of the shades kind of overlap each other. I will insert swatches before we begin the four look tutorial portion of this video and in those swatches I will show you in particular like these shades right here because I feel those four are so so similar I definitely think we could have just done with two of them and Colourpop could have given us two different shades but that's neither here nor there. I will say just spoiler alert I didn't have any problems swatching this palette now in here there are three pressed glitters. The ColourPop pressed glitter formula is not necessarily my favorite. However, this pressed glitter down here at the bottom, this shade is called New Moon. I would say that was the best press glitter swatch wise. I could tell it had a little bit of tackiness to it to where it was going to adhere better to the eyelid without having to go in with the glitter glue when compared to these other two press glitters. But just first impressions color story, I am really, really loving it, especially this side of the palette because this is definitely the more colorful side of the palette. And then of course, ColourPop did give us some nice neutral shades, just a little bit of everything. We can create a little bit of everything with this palette. All right guys, if you all wanna see the new ColourPop It's a Mood eyeshadow palette in action, keep on watching. All right, so I've already primed my eyelids using the ABH eyeshadow primer, and I will have the rest of the makeup that I am using both on and off camera linked in the description box of this video. Some of those links might be affiliate links, so if you do end up purchasing, I thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. So let's dive into this. There is a lot of different things that I can do for you guys today. I definitely want to incorporate this shade. I really like the way the shade swatched. I think this is actually a really neat shade, one in which you could wear alone and just be done. It's, it's kind of like one of those shades that has the matte with the glitter flex in it, but this one swatched really well. I was really impressed with this one. Of course, I love seeing a nice army green in a palette, so I kind of want to start there with the army green. Um, you can most definitely, like if you're kind of stuck on how to use this palette, you can take it column by column. As you can see, all the columns are pretty cohesive to where you could create a look with the five shades, or you can just go across. I mean, whatever you want, you can take it in quadrants, in nines, whatever you think is easier to visualize. Me personally, I like just going all over the palette and just putting shades together that you normally wouldn't think would go together. So. Let's go for it guys. I want to try this green shade right here. This shade is called Oblivion and I'm going to take Oblivion on a BK Beauty 206 and I'm just going to be pressing that into the crease and blending it upwards. So I kind of feel like this shade it swatched a little more green than what it's applying. What do you guys think? I'm not really getting that green shade that I feel is in the pan. I feel like this looks a little bit different. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. Now I'm going to deepen that shade up with this brown down here. This one is called um, Our Deal. And I'm taking that on a refer 14. Ooh, this is a nice 
deep chocolate brown. Ooh, that, those shades are blending really well into each other. Just trying to keep it out here, this outer portion of the eye. Now I'm going to take the BK Beauty brush that I was using with that first shade. Just kind of flick it out right down here. Go over it, the edges, really lightly. All right, now what I want to do, let's see. This shade looks really, really pretty. I think I want to use, let me try, and then this shade too. I'm going to try this shade, and then I'm going to go into this shade right here. So I'm starting first with a Want to Go, and then I'm going to add a little bit of Surface. And to apply both shades, I'm going to be using a Morphe M124, and I am obviously spraying it. Ooh, this is a pretty shade. I'm gonna kind of just take it right there, like halfway. Now I'm gonna flip the brush around and I'm gonna go in with surface. Picking up a little bit more of Wanna Go. Going back in with the Refer 14, no additional product. Now I still might put something right here in the center of the lid, but I'm gonna come back to that. For the lower lash line, um, let's see. I kinda wanna do something different, like a color. Why don't we try, why don't we try maybe a purple right here? I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. The shade is called Echoes. And I'm just taking a little BH Cosmetics pencil brush. Let's see how these shades are gonna look with one another. That's the thing, like I just told you, I don't like to, to just stick to like one column or one row. I like to just, you know, go all over the palette and just try shades that maybe you normally wouldn't pair together and just see how they work out, you know? If it doesn't work or you don't like the way it looks, I mean, you know you can always wipe it off or add another shade on top of it to kind of blend it away. But more often than not, you can usually pull off. Pull off these shades, pull off these looks. So I like the way this is applying. And I do like these shades together. The purple really gives it a nice touch, a different, something different. Now I'm going to do, let's see, I think I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This is like a purple shimmer. It's called Moves. Same little BH Cosmetics pencil brush, but I'm going to spray it. Keeping it really close to the lash line. Oh yeah, I like the way that looks a lot. Yeah, I'm going to clean off this brush and for the inner corner, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This one is called Love Song. Ooh, that's a pretty shade. Yeah, you're definitely going to want to spray these shimmers to get maximum payoff. That's really pretty. There is a bit of kick up in the pan. Just FYI. Okay, now I feel like I need a little bit of something in the center of the lid. So I'm gonna go in with that same shade, Love Song. Just add it right here. Perfect, perfect. All right guys, I'm gonna add some liner and mascara and I'll be right back to show you guys the completed look number one. All right, guys, this is the completed look number one. What do you guys think? I definitely love the combination of like this army green, khaki green with the purple on the lower lash line. Uh, for the eyeliner that I use on the upper lash line, I went in with this one from Flower Beauty, and this is the Liquid Kajal Blendable Eyeliner. This one is in the shade Jaded. So I think it fits in perfectly with the tones um, and shades that I used up here um, on the top. And then for the lower lash line, for the waterline, I dipped into this uh, palette from Suva Beauty. This is their UV Brights. 
These are the water activated eyeliners and I used this purple shade right here. So all I do is uh, I sprayed that BH Cosmetics pencil brush that I was using to uh, do the lower lash line work, sprayed that and then I dipped into it and just, you know, applied from there. And guys, I'm not really too sure how I feel about this khaki green shade, that first shade I went in with. I don't know, I feel like... I feel like it's just not the shade that it is in the pan. I was expecting something a little more green, and I feel like I got something a little more brown. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But let's jump over to the left eye and start creating look number two. Okay, so for look number two... I think I want to do something with like the peach shades over here because like I told you guys in the beginning, this was the pressed glitter that swatched the best. So I'm going to start, I'm going to start with this shade right here and then work my way towards the bottom and the shade is called Stay Close. And I'm taking that on a BK Beauty 201. There's a lot of kick up in the pan with this particular shade, more so than with the others that I've used. It is a pretty shade though, and I do like the way it is blending out. All right, so I think I'm gonna leave that shade where it's at. Now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. This shade is called It's a Rush, and I'm gonna be working that in my crease. To apply that shade, I'm gonna be using a BK Beauty 202. So this is just a slightly deeper shade than that first one. Wow, that shade is blending out really, really nicely. I like these two shades together. They are perfect complements of one another. Okay, now, now I'm gonna go in, I think I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. This shade is called Fascination. I'm gonna use a Refer 14. Just focus that out here. A very fall-inspired eye. Now I'm going back in with It's a Rush, just to blend everything together. And then I'm going back in with the first shade, Stay Close. Okay, now I'm going to move down towards the lower lash line, and I think I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This shade is called Crave You, and I'm taking Crave You on a BK207. So you see what I mean about these shades? Like, just too, too much the same. Like, they resemble each other way too much to where we could have definitely done without, you know, one or two of them. And they could have given us a couple other shades. I'm going back in with Fascination. Now I'm going to take Fascination on a Refer 03. And I'm going to keep that really close to the lower lash line. Now for the inner corner. For the inner corner, I think I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This shade is called Reunion. Same Refer 03, and I am going to spray it. Now I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It's called Bonafide, and I'm going to add that to the lid. I'm taking that on a BK203. I'm going to place it right here. Actually, I'm thinking of just making this a matte look, with the exception of the inner corner. And I probably could have used this shade as an inner corner highlight, but oh well. I always like to have like a little bit of a shimmer on the inner corner. Now I was gonna add the pressed glitter. I kinda like the way that looks. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it, I think I'm gonna leave it like this. I rarely do an all matte look. Just adding a little bit more of fascination. 
Now I'm adding a little bit more of It's a Rush. I love all these shades together, all these tones. All right, so I'm gonna add some liner and mascara and I'll be right back to show you guys the completed look number two. All right guys, this is look number two using the ColourPop It's a Mood eyeshadow palette. I kind of like the all matte look on the top and I did a little bit of shimmer on the lower lash line. That's because I went in with the ColourPop color stick. This one is from the Sonic Bloom collection that was released at Ulta and this one is in the shade Happy Days. That's what I have on the lower waterline, also on the lower lash line and ever so slightly on the inner corner. For the top lash line, I went in with this one from LA Girl. This is the Ultimate Eye Intense Stay Auto Liner. This one is in the shade, is it Deepest Brown? Yeah, Deepest Brown. And of course, I added some more of the Catrice Mascara. Really happy with the way this look came out. I like it. I think all of the shades, especially the matte shades, blended out really, really well, really nicely into each other. So I'm excited. I'm excited to create two more looks for you guys so let's get started all right so let's jump into look number three I want to play with these shades right here the blues greens purples and I think what I'm going to do I'm gonna start with this shade and then I'm gonna apply this one all over the lid and you can see, like, um, I'm looking at it here in the viewfinder, but this shade, this is a really pretty shade. I really love the way it's swatched. It definitely has, like, a little bit of micro glitter on it, but it doesn't seem the type that's going to, like, get everywhere. So I'm really anxious to play with this one. So let me go in first with this one. This one is called uh, Don't Deny. And I'm taking Don't Deny on a refer 14. I'm just going to be blending it into the crease. Definitely getting kick up in the pan with this particular shade. And I'm gonna bring it down right here on the outer corner. Okay, now I'm gonna dip into the shade called Self Control. And I'm not going to spray the brush or anything. I'm going to use a BK Beauty 203. And I'm just going to pack this on all over the lid. You see that it doesn't really have that payoff with the sparkle. It's very subtle. But I was hoping for a bit more. I'm a little disappointed right now with the shade. Now I'm going to go back in with the Refer 14, no additional product. Just blending right here in the crease. All right, now I'm going to go in with this shade right here. The shade is called For a Night. I'm applying that with my finger all over the lid. I love the shade of shadow, like a teal. Look, it is so pretty. Now I'm going to pick some of that shade up on a damp Morphe M124. Now I'm going in with that Refer 14, no additional product. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This shade is called Thunder. This has a little bit of a purple reflect to it. I'm gonna apply that right here. Ooh, that's pretty. Now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go back in with this shade, which is Self Control. And I'm using a Refer 03. I did get a little bit of fallout, but actually not too bad considering I'm working with these dark blue shades, blue green shades. Now I'm gonna go back in with Thunder and I'm gonna spray my brush.
All right, we definitely have a dramatic eye look going on. I'm gonna add some liner and mascara and I'll be right back to show you all the completed look. All right guys, so this is the completed look number three. I went in with some of the same Catrice mascara. I used my favorite Wet n Wild Black Liquid Eyeliner. It is the Breakup Proof Liquid Eyeliner. And then for the lower waterline, I went in with this one from Koki Cosmetics. This is their retractable liner in the shade Peacock Green. And I love this look. I love the shade. I love the shades of like teal and green blue shades together. And this inner corner and center lid shimmer shade is beautiful. I really, really like the way it layered over um, these other shadows. Let's start creating, guys, the final and fourth look with this ColourPop It's a Mood palette. So for the fourth look, I feel like I need to use some of the purple. I was going to use it with this eye, but then I really didn't, I really didn't feel the need to go there. I just used like this shimmer shade from this purple column. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with this shade right here. The shade is called uh, Night Call, and I'm going to be blending the shade into the crease. And I'm taking this on a BK Beauty 202. So this shade is building up really nicely. I like that. This is a really nice shade to throw into the crease. Very pretty transition shade. I think it's going to be perfect for this purple look that I'm going to create. All right, now I'm going to dive into this shade right here. The shade is called Echoes. I'm taking that on a refer 14. I'm just going to start blending into the crease. This is a pretty shade. It's definitely building up as well. All right, now that I have a nice little blend going on with that shade, I'm going to dip into this shade right here. This one is called Had To Be. Same refer 14. Oh yeah, that's a really deep plum shade. Ooh, I like this shade a lot. I actually like all three of these shades, how they're just blending so well with one another. Now, since this is a darker shade, these last two, I am spending a little bit more time just blending because I'm also building up. I like that. I like that a lot. Now I'm going to go back in with the first shade, which was Night Call. Just going to apply that up here. Soften it up around these edges. Okay, now what I want to do is, let's see, I don't think I'm going to go in with this shimmer shade. I think, I think I'm going to go in with this one instead. This one is called Reunion. Let's see, let's see how that one looks. And I'm going to take that on a damp Morphe M124. Ooh, this one is pretty. I'm just focusing it right there on the lower portion of the lid. Now I'm going back in with Had To Be, which was the darkest shade. All right, now for the lower lash line, let's see. I think, actually let's go in with this shimmer shade. Let's try that one out. This one is called Moves. And I'm going to take that on a damp Refer 03. Now I'm going to go back in with Reunion, same damp refer 03. All right, guys, I think we got a nice look here. Let me add some liner and mascara, and I'll be right back to show you this fourth and final look. 
All right, guys, so fourth and final look with the It's a Mood palette. What do you guys think? I love it. I think this might be, could it be my favorite look? I don't know. I really like how these purple shades worked with one another, how they blended into one another, and then this light pink shimmer shade. I think it's a perfect complement for um, these other purple shades that I have going on. Really, really pleased with the way this uh, look came out. Of course, I added some more of the Catrice uh, Glam and Doll Easy Wash Off Mascara, uh, more breakup proof liquid eyeliner from Wet n Wild. And for the lower waterline, I went back in with this one from LA Girl. This is the metallic shockwave liner in the shade Sequence. Now let me give you guys my final thoughts on this new ColourPop It's a Mood palette. Alright guys, so now that I've created four looks using this It's a Mood palette, let me share with you guys some of my thoughts. Now, um, initial thoughts when using the palette are there's definitely a lot of kick up in the pan, in particular with the matte shades. So just be uh, aware of that, dip in lightly. I do feel that most of the shades blended out just fine. I really didn't get any major issues from these shades. Um, I will say I'm a bit disappointed with the Army Green, which is the very first shade I went in with for look number one. And then with this shade down here, this one is called um, Self Control. This is definitely one of those matte shades with a little bit of a glitter sprinkled into it. It just looks so much prettier in the pan. It's swatched better than uh, how it applied. And I'm not saying that the shade is bad. Like it blended out just fine. It has amazing pigmentation. But I think I was looking for a little bit more sparkle because if you look at it in the pan, it looks like it's going to be a really, really fun, sparkly shade. And it's not. It's very, very muted. And it can most definitely act as a matte shade so I wouldn't be afraid to place that in your crease or on the outer corner or anything like that because um, it's definitely more matte than what it is shimmer. Um, the other shades, okay so I showed you this in the swatch portion of the video. These four shades right here, they're all just about identical. I think we could have done with maybe this one and maybe that one and called it a day. I don't think we needed four super similar shades like that. So I think that was maybe a missed opportunity there with ColourPop. As well as the pressed glitters, um, there's only three in here, but I think maybe two would have been enough or maybe just one. Um, I don't always go for pressed glitters. I just, I don't wanna deal with the fallout. I don't wanna deal with the glitter glue. Um, they're okay. I think my favorite is still the Beach Cosmetics Pressed Glitter Formula that definitely has more tackiness to it. Another thing that I wanted to point out, and I meant to do this in the intro portion, some of the shade names, they have a little asterisk by them at the end, and that is because it is not intended for use around the immediate eye area. And it does have that disclaimer back here. And it doesn't mean that something is going to happen to your eye. It's just the ingredients that they use to make the shadow might cause staining. It might cause some irritation, especially with like the pressed glitters. Um, you want to be really careful and maybe not take it so far into the inner corner. Kind of just keep it on the lid um, because you definitely don't want any of that glitter getting into your eye area. Overall guys, I like the color story of this palette. Like, I love this section over here, but then I also enjoyed using the shades over here as well. I think it's just a, a pretty palette. It's a pretty palette to add to your stash. Maybe this is going to be the only palette you buy for the rest of the year. It retails for $34. It is in stock right now on the ColourPop website, but definitely be on the lookout for maybe a 10% off, 15% off, 25% off coupon. ColourPop does have sales pretty frequently, so I would wait for a sale before picking this one up. But I do know if you get this home, you won't be disappointed with the quality of the palette. It performs just the way the majority of my ColourPop palettes perform. I like it. I didn't have any issues with like the integrity of the shadow. It was just some of the shades. Some of the shades I was a little bit disappointed with. But overall, guys, I like this palette. 
palette. I had fun creating the four different looks. I am most definitely going to be reaching for this palette again. Now let me hear from you. What did you guys think of this palette? What do you think of the color story? Have you already picked it up? I know some of you have already ordered it. You guys let me know here and on Instagram that it was already on the way to you. And I hope you guys have so much fun playing with your new ColourPop palette. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated guys, drink your water, and I will see you all very soon. Bye!